to my next video. Today I'm gonna talk about my old house. So I'm gonna talk about how my old house was haunted because I believe it was because I've seen things, my family's seen things, and I'm gonna have my family members also talk. So I have my, like everybody, my dad, my mom, and my two sisters. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the stories that we were gonna talk about today. Enjoy the video. So we were on vacation and my dad, behind the scenes, like he like, found this house and he decided to purchase it and stuff and once we came back from vacation it was our first time seeing the house it just wasn't like the regular experience I guess um we saw the house from the outside we were just like whatever I guess um and then I remember going for the backyard I went in to the house I went I saw the kitchen and stuff and I was just like this house is so old it just looked really ugly and worn down and I was really confused on like why he like got it or whatever and then I went into the room that became my sister's room and there was graffiti on all the walls from like the ceiling all the way down to the floor the windows were covered and um, so I was in the room and like standing in the middle and it was just like scared and uncomfortable and the energy just was not right the room was spinning and so i ran out of my sister's room i just felt like throwing up like i just felt dizzy it was just like a weird energy spinning around me but yeah but then we were like living in the house and it was always like creepy and stuff there was just like weird things I could only remember a few things, but um, another thing that I can say for like creepy ghost story, whatever, about the house being haunted, I don't really watch scary movies. Um, I never liked really scary things. It was like, I was scared of it, so I wasn't really into that stuff or whatever. Um, so like you can't reason me getting scared by like oh you just watch too many scary movies or anything like that because i really wasn't that kind of person there was this one day i took a shower and it was just like normal i don't remember anything being creepy or scary i was taking a shower i got out of the shower um and i flipped my hair down because i always would do that to put the towel and wrap it on my head so i was doing that and for some reason, in the process of me getting out of the shower and like getting dressed and stuff like that, at one point I had turned off the light and opened the door. So it was like dark in the bathroom, but like there was some light coming in because the door was open. But anyways, so I'm doing that, I'm wrapping my towel and then I look up and the mirror and the, like, the sink had a mirror. And so I was right in front of me, and the shower is right behind me. And as I look into the mirror, I see um, a girl standing next to me. And she had long hair, it was very dark. Um, I don't remember seeing like a face, but I know it was a girl. And it freaked me out. So, like, I just like, kind of like turned really fast and there was like nothing there and I just like jolted like I just ran out of the bathroom and I went to my parents room and I told them like there was a girl in the mirror with me like she was in the shower I mean she was in the bathroom and they were just like oh like your imagination I don't know that was very creepy and I can't explain it so one time I was sleeping and like I don't know what time it was, but um, I just felt like off, like it just didn't feel right, like nothing felt right. And then like I was facing like the wall and next to my bed, like me and Monique would share a room, but like she was in a separate bed. But next to my bed, I just felt like someone was standing there just like watching me sleep. And like, I just didn't feel like okay. like. I started like, like, it was hard to breathe and like, but, um, it was just like, it didn't feel right and I started like hyperventilating and like, I got like a whole panic attack because like, I don't know, like, I don't know what it was, like I never turned around because I was just scared, but it just didn't feel right and I just, like, at one point just fell asleep. 
but it was just it was weird so a lot of times the basement just like didn't feel like i didn't feel like safe down there like i just felt i always felt like someone was like watching me like it's almost gonna like out of nowhere just start running towards me and just like pull me back like i would be going up the stairs and it just would feel like i was about to get like dragged down so i'd like sprint up the stairs like you know like when like kids just like go running because i feel like the demon is like grabbing you but like i don't know it just felt like i was gonna get dragged down and then there yeah, was like this hallway and like I'm at scared. the end i always felt like someone was just gonna walk out and just like come running towards me and it was just like a dark hallway but, um i don't know the basement just never felt safe and, like my dogs didn't really like going down there like they would run back upstairs Una vez cuando yo estaba durmiendo, como a las 2 o 3 de la mañana, yo sentí que algo en el pie, como, un, como que un escracho así. Y yo me, me senté así, perdido. yo pensé que era la canela, y yo, la canela se subió a la cama. Y cuando me levanto, no había nada. Y ya no pude dormir, porque era un así como un... Sentí un escracho así. Y me asusté. ¿Cómo que sería? Yo sentí así como varios como dedos así. O sea, las uñas. Uh -huh. Ajá. Did, ¿Did you see any marks? No. Pero era así como aquí en el pie. Y busqué la canela así bajo la cama, el snowball. Y no. No, no había nadie. Era estaba solo yo. ¿Y ahí, mami? No, tu mami estaba en el Ecuador. ¿Were we all in Ecuador? Uh, sí, yo estaba solito. You were by yourself in the house? Sí, estaba solito. Wait, when he called, he looked scared. No, pero eso fue esa vez. Después ya, en la siguiente día, cuando quise, voy, fui a dormir. Digo, no, no voy a pensar en eso. Y, y ya, dormí tranquilo. No era como no hacía bulla y yo dormía tranquilo. Porque los perros sienten cuando hay algo extraño. Al principio la casa sí era como pesada y me quedaba yo sola, todo el mundo se, iba, eh, se fue a trabajar y las niñas a la escuela y después este la verdad que sí me asusté una vez porque se escuchó un un sonido como que subían de las escaleras de, del basement, no sé si la puerta como que la sacudieron, ahí sí que me asusté, justo lo, teníamos solo al snow y el snow empezó a ladrar, pero yo no me atreví a bajar, yo lo que hice es correr y estar en, ahí en la, en la puerta de, esperando que llegara y ya cuando llegó Franklin, pues ahí fuimos a, abajo y, y vimos que no había nadie, o sea, no había nada, no había nadie, no, no, todas las ventanas estaban cerradas, no se metió alguien para decir, alguien se metió y sí se cerraba la puerta, pero lo ignoro, o sea, si era alguna ventana, algo, se le cerraba la puerta. Una vez se abrió la puerta, a veces hasta se oía como voz, porque uno decía, tú me llamaste, no, pero si yo te vi que me llamaste, no. Ajá, no eso siempre pasaba. Ya. Yeah. Trataba de, de ponerse tranquilo para que no, no, no fomentar más miedo, pero lamentablemente sí, sí, era al principio muy pesado. So, when we first moved in, me and my cousin were going to the basement and we were both running, okay? And so we were going down those stairs and then we went to the hallway that looks straight ahead across, it looks really creepy. And right before we turned on the light, we saw a woman and a little girl holding hands We're running to my grandma's room and that was my grandma's room right there in that little area so me and my cousin got so scared we ran back upstairs like i swear these doors are they're not fake but anyways so like we got so scared we ran upstairs and we're like oh my god did you see that and like the fact that me and my cousin who's older than me both saw the same thing it's just it proves that like it wasn't just me because i was like oh what if it was just my head no she saw the same thing like, we both explained what we saw and so there was also like i couldn't like the shower in my house upstairs creeped me out like every time i would shower i could not have my eyes closed like it would just give me chills i would just be scared and then one time i was showering and my mom was in ecuador 
and I literally, when I got out of the shower, you know how when you, sh you shower with hot water, your, your mirror fogs up? Well, mine fogged up, and there was handprints. There was one handprint, and I was like, <laughs> and so I told my dad, I was like, look at this. Look, there's literally a handprint on the mirror. I was like, I'm scared. And he, he was like, no, it could be you. And I like put my hand over it, I hovered over it, and it was not, it was small. It was not my handprint. My, I'm, my hand's smaller than everyone else except for my mom my mom wasn't there she was in ecuador so they grab like my dad grabs um a towel and like windex and everything and he cleans that he's like it's nothing it's nothing it's probably you guys probably touched put your hand on it or something i was like okay i shower the next day okay literally the next day when i get out of the shower there's two handprints now like there was like two handprints Ooh. There was two handprints, and I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I told my dad, I was like, look, now there's two. Now there's not one, there's two, and they're in a different spot. And my dad was like, oh, that's weird. I'm getting chills. Okay. Also, the basement would just creep me out. Like, literally, it was such a weird vibe. Like, it was so, like, scary. It was freaking cold. So there's one time, it was a playroom. So we had the room before my grandma's, and literally i was in there and it was um there was like a little house a playhouse that my dad bought for my sister and i was in there and i was like we're playing hide and seek with another friend and my sister and they were hiding in my grandma's room and i was hiding in that playroom in that little I'm getting scared. and i was hiding in the little like tiny playroom and um so i was in there and I was counting, my eyes were closed, and all the lights were off because we like to play hide and go seek in the dark. So I was closing my eyes and I was counting. And um and then why am I getting so scared? Okay. So I was counting and then literally <laughs> I felt a whisper. I need to talk about it. I felt a whisper. Like right here not that i just heard it okay i felt the air like the i felt the air to my ear my eyes were closed i opened my eyes and nobody was in the little room with me and i was like and the whisper said my sister's name it said i'll say it for you guys it said dominic so like that, exactly like that <laughs> and i was I opened my eyes and i was like and I turned around, I went like this, and I saw nobody. I literally immediately got out, turned on the lights, turned around, and I said, where are you guys? It's not funny that you have to scare me. Like, I was freaking out. And I'm looking this way, okay? And my grandma's room is all the way down there, and that's when they both pop out together. There was no, like, no one else was playing with us. My mom was upstairs, that's the only people in the house. And they both pop out, and they're like, what are you talking about? And I said, no. I was like, how are you guys over there? I'm literally in, in like in tears. And I'm like, I felt a whisper and I heard Dominic's name. I was like, no, they could not have messed with me because if they were right next to me saying that and I open my eyes and nobody's there, they can't possibly be all the way over there. The hallway was long. You hear the footsteps, like you would hear footsteps as they go back. Cause the floor was, um, it's like rubber for the gym. Cause it was a gym area. And I go upstairs and I'm like running. I run upstairs and I tell my mom like I'm scared. I heard this. Blah blah. My mom's like it's okay, it's okay. And I was like no, like no. And I was only barely first like moved in like a couple months, couple maybe yeah, it was a couple months. I was little. And I couldn't. That house. There's something wrong with this house. Like I never really like believed in any ghosts or whatever. I was a child. I never watched. I did watch scary movies, but I wasn't like into that. I wasn't like ooh Ouija board type of thing. I was more like, what is happening? I'm scared. Let's leave. So, one day, the whole family was watching a movie, or we were watching TV. I don't know. We were just hanging out in my parents' room, and I go to get drink water because I used to drink water all the time. So I go and I like, I walk from my parents' room across and over here, and like, we have this thing to get water. And it was right, right here, and right behind it was a wall, and then right, that was like the way down to downstairs. Maybe I have patience, but it was a wall, and then it was like the stairs. So I was going, and I 
like literally I'm getting water and I'm just chilling. So I'm getting my water and I'm just like pressing the button and waiting for my water to come out. So down the stairs, on the stairs, there was a knocking towards where I was. Like it wasn't at the door, because the door was right here. It wasn't like this, it was right here. But it was a knocking. I literally got scared. I left my water there and I ran to my parents' room and I said, someone knocked on the wall. I'm scared, like something something just happened. My dad was like, no, nothing happened. It's the air conditioning. They were always talking about the air conditioning. But the air conditioning doesn't make those noises. Guys, so those were the stories about my old house. I'm sorry it was 15 minutes, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with new content. Hopefully on Tuesday.